Welcome, welcome. We got another Kratom session going on. I'm going to do my two scoops. For you, green Mangda Kratom powder. Mixed with some OJ. Two scoops, two teaspoons. I always measure out my dose because I always like to know how much I'm taking. Because sometimes I like to mix it up a bit. And depending on the, the strain, I may um, uh, take more or less. Keep in mind, um, uh, a teaspoon is five capsules. And that's about two and a half grams in general. And you always want to measure out your dose. Um, that way you know how much you're taking. And especially when you're starting out, you may it's maybe beneficial be, to be taking less, maybe even just a half a teaspoon. Um, because you may not be sure how your body will react. And it's always better to feel just a mild effect uh, rather than too much of an effect with Kratom. Anyways, I mix it with OJ, sweet citrus flavor of OJ, mask the bitter taste of Kratom. Always shake it up, better shake and not stir. It's the way to do it, you wanna get those clumps out. And I uh, fill my bottle about halfway because that way you get a good shake. To fill it up all the way, you don't get as much, I don't know, velocity of liquid that you can shake up. But yeah, that's the way to go. And if it's still too bitter, you can always add more juice and find the right kind of um, uh, dose of Kratom to the juice ratio that works for you. But just always, always measure out the Kratom to make sure that the effect that you are looking to have gets the, um, the sweet spot every time. And not only that, but um, the vendor is really important. So the brand of the Kratom that you're using is very important when measuring out and understanding your dose amount. So you always want to find a good brand. And I find Foria by far the best. They, have, they sell the most clean product. And, oh, say hi, Mr. Periwinkle. Oh, look at Mr. Periwinkle. I think he's about six and a half, seven, seven or so, seven weeks. Seven weeks. Oh, oh, hi, Periwinkle. Okay, pop it back. I like to chug it. Boom. <clears throat> and then I like to finish out with a little bit of water. <clears throat> now, you can mix Kratom in water, but man, it's just not, it's not good. I never like it. Anyways, well, kind of, it's nice to chase the Kratom drink with water, um, just gets the aftertaste or the flavor out, um, and it's always good for hydration. <clears throat> All right, so today I want to talk about Kratom and work, and I work construction, and I find Kratom to be so helpful in my job while I'm working and after. And Kratom really is originally um, for the working class, especially for manual labor. <clears throat> now the Kratom plant originates in Southeast Asia and the indigenous people um, would chew on, on the Kratom leaves, uh, especially while they're working, to give them more energy and help them get through the workday. And the pain relieving effects of Kratom is very helpful for manual labor. So with construction in my work day, you know, I get to, I wake up, I drink coffee. I refuse to start my day without coffee. It's just, that's just the way I am. And I get going and, you know, like to stretch out and, you know, so many mornings, especially later in the work week, I'll, just feel groggy and I'll have a harder time, you know, feeling motivated for work. And, and so kind of after my coffee, I feel a little more awake. And, and then I try to give a good buffer of time um, after I take my coffee and then until I go to work. And if, if possible, I'll, I'll wait until after lunch to take my Kratom. <clears throat> 
And the reason is that is that's just a personal preference. It's just, I just like giving a little bit of time in my day without Kratom. Um, just because it's, I notice the difference a lot better. Uh, um, because it's like, you know, you get to work, you're working, and you're feeling groggy, you're achy, and you're just, you know, working hard and everything. But it's... It's kind of like once you take the kratom, it's just it gives it gives me that boost. So, but if I am feeling you know groggy, unmotivated, tired, if I haven't been sleeping much because I've been working on other things, I um uh, I'll take kratom earlier in the day. If kind of if not right when I get to work, just because when I get to work, I want to make sure I get after. It. I want to work hard. I want to be motivated. I want to be focused and. I don't want to be lethargic. I don't want to be tired. I don't want to be, you know, just annoyed that I'm at work and I'd rather be just resting and relaxing. So Kratom is just so helpful for the working class and especially the blue collar kind of work um, that people might find themselves they, that they do. And I, I couldn't speak highly enough if you are one of those people that works blue collar or you know someone that works construction and they're looking for something i have a friend that he was taking tylenol every day because he had pain in his sciatica i gave him some um some kratom to be trying out with he would do just like a half a teaspoon if not a quarter teaspoon while he was working of some red mangda and he found it would really help his his sciatic pain but just keep in mind that <clears throat> With injuries and even with muscle aches, masking the pain is never really enough. You want to make sure you're coupling with good stretching, good diet, uh, good good sleeping. And you really want to balance your Kratom use uh, with a healthy lifestyle. That way, Kratom is only there to serve your purpose and not be your purpose. And not just be a mask for other aspects of your life that you may not be um, paying attention to. But regardless, you know, if you're lacking on sleep and you really need something to get you through the day. Or after you, if you have lunch and you start to feel the lethargy of that food coma and you still got to work another half day. Kratom is just key. Now... I would highly recommend for someone that really wants to use Kratom while they're working during the workday to use white Kratom. And I got some white Mangda. Now the white strain is more of a stimulant and especially if taken at small doses. So my friend I was telling you about that was taking Kratom for his sciatic nerve. He began stretching and, and you doing core exercises and he found he was able to regulate his, his pain and his injury getting through with the exercise, which is the right way to do it, kind of physical therapy exercises. But he got off the red and he found that he got some white kratom and he got some capsules, in which I got capsules also, and he would take just about two capsules after lunchtime, he says just when he was, you know, after he'd eat lunch, he would, about a half hour later, he would start to feel that food coma feeling, where just kind of feeling lethargy, uh, lethargic, and um, yeah, he just, all he did was pop two Kratom capsules, and it just gives him a little energy boost, and it's, it acts as a stimulant, it keeps you focused, it keeps you on point, and it'll, all, all Kratom, is a pain gives pain relieving and mood boosting effects and the strains and the dose amounts creates the difference of of whether it's more of a stimulant or more of a sedative now if you were if i was to take like three two teaspoons of white kratom around seven and a half grams it's not gonna necessarily make me feel super twacked out super just like spinning in the head because kratom kind of works in a way i mean there's there's many alkaloids many organic chemical compounds that interact with the way in a body where it begins to act more as a sedative um but with that said 
I hardly ever take more than two teaspoons um, or just a few capsules of white manga. In fact, I personally just simply like sticking to the green vein um, and I kind of just keep my regular dose either late in the morning or after lunch and uh, just use the green vein to get that uh, energy boost while I'm at work and that that motivation but I also it just helps um, with my relaxation and feeling positive when I'm done with work so that's the thing that Kratom is so helpful with is because not only can it serve you while you are working but also if you mix up the strains let's say you take a little bit of white kratom while you're working just like two capsules or maybe a half teaspoon just to get that boost and then when you're done with working you need something to kind of you know help with your muscle aches you know 6 6 p.m. maybe you got to get dinner going and you just and you just want to lay there and not do anything cuz you're tired and physically exhausted green vein is great green strain the green main duh really helps it's a smooth focus and and it doesn't like just lay you on your ass now with green veins and red veins if you do take about for new users especially two to three teaspoons that's about five to seven grams <clears throat> for new users that can just annihilate you I mean in, in a good way you know you're not gonna die you're not gonna get sick but you you'll probably get very tired and very relaxed and and so <clears throat> just keep in mind that depending on what it is you want in your lifestyle, whether you want a little bit of a stimulant, a mood boost, or um, uh, kind of an energy boost, the strains and dose amounts is really important to know. And that, you know, you just take a little bit of a white strain and that would get you through the work day, just A-OK, -okay, keep, you, keep you on point. And then for later in the day, take a green or red vein, maybe a full teaspoon, uh, maybe two teaspoons is what I do. And that just, you know, for me, when I take tea, two teaspoons, I, I don't get super tired, nor do I get super stimulated. I just get this kind of smooth feeling and this well-being, content feeling. I feel motivated. I feel positive. My body doesn't feel burdened by just the work week and being tired. And so Kratom is such a helpful supplement and is a great supplement for the working class. You know, throw out those monster energy drinks. You don't need that second pot of coffee. Try Kratom for that, um, you know, that midday lethargy that you might feel and, and give it a try and you'll notice a big difference. Um, anyways, it's, it can be used for white collar work too. I mean, even if you find yourself, if you're like programming or working, you know, at a desk, you still need a, you know, being drained and being tired can still be a big hindrance. You really want to stay focused on your job. You want to excel at your job. And so, any kind of strain of kratom you could find, especially if you're doing white collar, green, red, or white, take it at a, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon maybe if you're starting off with. And if you get it, you know, more of a tolerance, you can go up to two teaspoons. But even for white collar work is really good. It helped me get through grad school, taking kratom. I'd work out, I'd be tired, I'd have work to do, um, and I'd be unmotivated. I'd take some kratom, I'm good to go. So it's also important, lastly, to think about the times you eat, um, you know, if you're a good breakfast eater, make sure you eat your breakfast first and then later, then take your Kratom. Um, but some people may find that taking a little bit of white Kratom on an empty stomach is what helps them get going in the, in the beginning of the day. So it all depends on the person your goals on what you're want, trying to achieve. And, and with that said, I will catch you next time. Thanks much for tuning in.